What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Dean aka The Blue Crusader and today we're back for another M Creator tutorial. Last time we covered achievements, this time we're going to be covering commands. Now like with all my other tutorials, in this video we're going to be doing just a random command but this actual information can be applied to basically any command and you can use it for your own knowledge to create really awesome commands in the game. I'm just going to be giving you an example on how commands work in mCreator and how you can create and use procedures to attach to your command to actually make events happen in the game. So we're going to jump straight into it, we're going to click this add button and go down to command and we're just going to call it mod command, you guys can give it a more creative name. This is just a test mod for the tutorial sake so I'm not really going to give it anything fancy. So what we're going to do first is we're actually going to go down to command executed procedure trigger. You want to click on the plus button and press create procedure. Now this is what's going to happen when you type in your command so at this point you need to have a command idea in mind and an idea for what the command will actually do when you type it. So for an example if I have a mob in my mod which is called Herobrine I could make a command that's called slash spawn hero brian and i could spawn hero brian at a certain coordinate in relation to the player for an example so you need to think about what you're going to do now that would actually be really useful because you could actually strike lightning at the player and then summon hero brian that'd actually be a really cool command to do so what i'm going to do is i'm going to scroll down and at the top it says spawn at xyz entity so if you did want to summon an npc of any kind this is how you do it so it has a list of all the entities and mobs in the game i'm going to scroll down and i'm just going to make this command summon a cave spider and I'm going to spawn that XYZ, which should be just close to the player. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn another one. And I'm going to just spawn a different mob. I'm just going to go down see what else there is. And I'm going to spawn a normal spider. Then in world management, I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to set the time to 13,000. Which should be night time. If you guys have got a server where you type in slash time set and then a number, you guys all know how to do this. So... We'll set it to night time, hopefully that'll work. And then we'll just kind of go around and mess with some other stuff that we'll add to our command to make it a bit more interesting. What we're going to do also, we're going to place this. I'm going to go down and we're going to find a cobweb. So we're going to place down what this command is going to do so far, hopefully if it actually works, is it's going to spawn a cave spider, a normal spider, set it to night time and then spawn a cobweb on the floor. Random stuff, but I'm just showing you how it works. So... Then I'm going to make it so it sends a chat to all players and it's going to say the spiders have arrived or something. Just something simple and then I'm going to click add procedure and then I'm going to make the command spider army and then the short usage of the command we're just going to leave blank. So we can click save mod element now and hopefully that should work and our command should spawn spiders. Okay so now I'm going to run the client as usual. I'm going to run the game and hopefully we can test out our command. So now we're going to just drop into a random world and hopefully our command will work. So we're in a random world here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in slash spider army. And now it's changed the night. Oh, that's actually awesome. So it's actually worked. So now it said that the spiders have arrived. It's changed it to night time and it's trapped us in a spider's web. So basically, <laughs> as soon as you use this command, you're actually the spider's prey because you can't move. And then spiders spawn on top of you and it changes to night time so more monsters spawn around you. So it increases the threat and danger and then it traps you and then the spiders are just going to kill you basically. So it's an unfair command but that's just how the command works. So I'm going to type in slash game mode survival. So now in survival mode I'm going to use the command slash spider army. It's going to change to night time. I'm going to be trapped in a web and now these two spiders are going to punch me. And it's going to be nearly impossible to actually kill the things because I'm stuck for half the time. And then they poison me and then I fall off the cliff. <laughs> so it's really unfair that command on me. But that's just how it works. That's how to use a command. I've showed you how to use a command to send a message to the player. I've showed you how to use the command to spawn a mob. And I've also showed you how to use the command to spawn an item on the ground. So for an example, we spawned the cobweb on the ground. And we didn't, we didn't change the coordinates on the mob spawning or the web spawning. Because if you leave the coordinates as default, it'll spawn them at the player position which it has done so that's how to do that that's how to make a command and how to make a procedure with all those different settings 
to actually make a really awesome command. So I hope this video was useful guys, if it was useful, smash the like button, make sure to subscribe with notifications on, and if you want to see more M Creator videos, you can see all of my tutorials on my channel. I haven't actually finished this series yet, but I do actually want to release a few more tutorials to actually finish the M Creator series. So you will see a lot more tutorial videos on M Creator on the channel. So make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on so you don't miss out on those videos. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.